Hello, I'm Melanie Kay, and here I am today with this festive macrame um, Rudolph reindeer, uh, Rudolph rainbow. You know the macrame rainbows that are really popular. Well, I just made this, and I'm gonna teach you how to make it. Dead easy, actually. Didn't take half as much as I thought it would, and you took half a reel of yarn, um, and obviously the lots of different colours. But there he is. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let's get on with making this Rudolph. <laughs> so for this you'll need some macrame cord. So I've just gone with this browny colour um, for Rudolph. I didn't know how much I needed so I got three lots. I'll, it's from Etsy anyway so I'll try and link it down below. I got some dark brown. I've got a medium sized pom pom maker, red wool, this cord which is also macrame cord but thicker, um, I've got wire and hot glue gun, obviously hot glue sticks and then I've got scissors just in case I need to cut stuff. That's all you need um, and we're going to get on and make it. Ignore the scratch on the table but the first step is to measure out your string so you want three of these so this is going to be the the biggest I guess and then you're going to go in and in um, and then cut them to length. So the rest, I've probably got enough to do another one so I probably bought too much of that but you always want too much because you don't ever want not enough. I suppose you could do another lane round if you wanted as well. Um, and carry on going, but it's like a macrame uh, rainbow, but Rudolph. Okay, so then you need to take your... Uh, in fact, we're going to do the ears and the... Um, ears and the antlers first, so let's swap over. So take your jewellery making wire, you can get this from anywhere, I got mine from Hobbycraft but it, you literally can get it from anywhere. Um, and then you just want to make it into like an antler shape, not too big obviously because it's only to go on your... Um, and then cut the length. I think that would be fine. You can obviously always bring this back in. And then, but I think that's, that is the right length, see? Okay, so I've done the antlers. Um, there's just a bit of glue on the end, which is fine, it'll be hidden. Um, and then I've, so I've just got one ear left to do, and I thought I'd show you that. It's gonna be exactly the same for the actual rope as well, I believe. Um, but we're just using the reindeer colour uh, string. Did you even see that? Hot glue an end. The hot glue gun. Don't want to stay. Glue that to it. We'll glue the end again in a minute once I get it off the floor. Obviously be careful, glue gun Glue is extremely hot, but probably going to wreck my nails, but they need doing anyway. So then you just need to wrap that round and keep going. Like that. Then when you get to the end there, cut it off just right where you think you need it. Glue again along there on the wool as well as the wire and then glue it. It's all fingers and thumbs here. Um, and then put a bit more glue on the end. Again this doesn't matter because it's going to stick onto the actual reindeer, isn't it, so. And there you go, there is your ear. Two ears, 
and two antlers and then you just need to wrap your wool on your yarn onto your actual the white string so um this is the rope that obviously we're using for the rainbow but it is the uh rudolph um so you just get your brown string you can see the others i've done all the others because you literally it's exactly the same as the um ears and the antlers but instead you are going near enough to the ed the end of the um cord and tying a double knot like so um, and then the whole way along you are just going to wrap this brown yarn round the cord until we get to the end but I'm doing this round the wrong way for me so really tight so that the white doesn't show through all the way to the end and then you're just going to tie a knot in the end again. So for the first step we are going to make sure that these are all even. We're going to have to just cut them down the bottom and then fray them anyway so it doesn't matter too much really. Um, just to make sure that they're even. Right, so you need to get a bit of string. Um, I'm just going to use the same colour as the reindeer. That's probably miles too long but I'd rather it be long. Right, so what I've done is folded this in half and then you need to do, let me move that out, right. Underneath, right, I've looped, the loop is underneath the thing, the rainbow strap and then you're just going to pull through and tighten them. So that is like the way you can hang it. And then we are going to wait for the glue gun to warm up and then glue these together um, and then we'll work out how to fray them and then stick the ears and the antlers on. And then obviously do the pom-pom as well and stick that on. You could do eyes but I'm not going to. Actually, look at it. Look, it will look even better obviously, but that's what it looks like so far. Using a hot glue gun, you just need to put a line basically around the middle edge of the strings and glue them together. You need to put quite a lot of pressure to stick the, t the two lines together and I'm doing this the whole way through to stick the whole Rudolph rainbow together. Now it looks like that. You can see some of the glue, so you just need to decide what side is best. I mean, that bit there doesn't matter because you're gonna have your reindeer nose on it. So in fact, this side is probably better for me. Um, so now you just need to sort out your antlers and ears, and then you'll do a pom-pom for his nose, stick him together. For the antlers and the ears I'm just literally gonna put glue lots of glue on the bottom don't be careful to glue don't glue this to your table and then fix it in place now onto the pom-pom <clears throat> so uh, I've got these, they're just from Hobbycraft, you put them together like so, I think this is the right size because it's going to be quite chunky because I'm not obviously putting a face other than this on, find the end of the wall, so you hold the thing together, if you haven't got one of these you can use stri um, cardboard, and you wrap it around and then you do the other side and then I'll be back once I put it together to show you but I'm pretty sure you've majority of you've probably seen how to make a pom-pom before because of my other videos okay 
<clears throat> mine could be thicker than this like you shouldn't have a hole in the middle but mine does because the wall went funny so you just need to then get put stick your finger in the middle to hold all the wall in place and then you get scissors and cut round like so my thumb is still in place and then with another bit of string tie that round the groove in the middle and um, double knot it and there is your pom-pom you can then trim it up do whatever you want but for us, we're going to take it back to uh, Rudolph. Right, then you just need to trim up. Don't really mind if he's a bit rugged, like that don't really matter to me. But with your hot glue, you're just gonna stick this pom-pom down. So, amples of glue. fluff him up okay i'm gonna just tie a knot up here so that that is hangable but and then we're gonna sort out the tassely bits at the end okay to finish the ends because they're still white on the ends here i'm just what well, all i'm doing is gluing the end sticking this as it would be a roll and another roll round um and then taking the thread and I'm raveling it. Same with this, so carry on going. So I brushed it. I just used the brush and brushed it. This one's gone a bit crazy, I don't know why, but anyway, brushed it. There we go, let me show you on the wall somewhere. Here he is, the finished article. How oh, cute. I would say obviously these should all probably be in level with each other, but I don't think it really matters because of all the tasselly bits. Um, and maybe it could have been shorter. There we go. Here he is, the finished article. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Have you seen these macrame rainbows? because they are really popular. I actually bought one for Nelly for her birthday a year ago, or two years ago, a year ago, I think. Um, and I saw this on Pinterest, and I thought, yes, Ma, you need to make that. Um, so he is cute. I think maybe he could have been shorter, but like, but, you know, trial and error. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you back with another video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.